Many people fear robots, but Elon Musk has introduced a new breed of robot that many people will adore. Yes, you will fall in love with these adorable robots. Do you recall the man robot in black boots that Elon Musk unveiled in 2021? The billionaire inventor will soon unveil the female version. Musk's AI robot is 56 kilograms in weight and 1.7 meters tall. It has a screen on its face where you can interact with it or read information. Tesla bot can both give and receive instructions in natural language. The robot will behave like a humanoid by moving its hands, walking on both feet, and other characteristics. Despite being able to reduce the robot's power quickly, Musk chose to do so on purpose. The object is to avoid the robot, equip Tesla's cutting-edge AI and easily defeat it by a human. Therefore, if they go wrong, these robots won't even harm humans or even outrun them, as many people fear. Including Elon Musk, who has frequently expressed concern about AI becoming too intelligent and outsmarting people. The bot will perform various tasks, including those that are tedious for people. Musk said, the robot could carry and transport up to 25 kilograms safely. You can use this robot to grocery shop across the street or clean your kitchen floor. Musk believes the bot may be employed in circumstances that endanger people. It can function in an environment with toxic fumes or smoke. Another illustration of Musk's talent for fusing various ideas is how the robot will operate. To enable the robot to move around autonomously, the team is merely bringing in technology that Tesla has already tested in autopilot. As it moves, it will recognize and avoid obstacles. It can also change its speed. When Musk revealed, you'll see that the Tesla bot is more of a workhorse, especially given its black boots and build. Another kind of robot that will unveil that day will surprise many people. Another group of robots that are currently very popular is female robots. The UK Sun newspaper claims that these female robots are becoming so lifelike that they have a soul. Take Erika the robot as an illustrative example. This robot is not your typical one. She actively seeks out social interaction and even makes jokes. Erika is a soft side and can show compassion. She is so skilled in this area that she can tell a robot from a human. Hiroshi Ishiguro, who identifies as Erika's father, created her. She can pinpoint the source of her voice and physically direct her attention there as necessary. This female robot can use her ray of senses to determine where audiences are. Erika can identify faces and respond appropriately. Erika has a solid financial support due to funding from JST Irado, a renowned Japanese organization that provides funding for scientific projects. We wonder what Ishiguro would think if she came across another Erika robot since she claims that Erika can distinguish between humans and machines. We won't be surprised if one Erika robot misleads another Erika robot as a human. Given the incredible attention to detail, in the realistic skin, hair, and facial expressions. Outside of the group that created it, Erica has been observed interacting with real people and stated that she is like a person. She went so far as to say that when people speak to her, they address her as a person, rather than as their dog, cat, toaster, or air conditioner. Like most people, Erica has goals and aspirations. She wants to explore more of the world. She also wants more freedom of movement for her extremities, which, to be fair, any human would also desire, though we must warn her that it's not all so rosy and beautiful. Of course, Erika's creators has his hopes and dreams for her. Dr. Dylan Glass, one of the designers of the female robot, wants her to develop to the point where she can think independently and handle every task. If you're curious about the kinds of jokes Erika is capable of, Check out this example from an award-winning sample. Why did the robot go back to robot school? Because her skills were getting rusty. <laughs> what happens if you want your female robot to be riskier? This is where Harmony comes in. Despite having a wholesome name, Harmony is a super bot. Harmony's body plays a part of the female robot meant to arouse desire. While Harmony's face is as realistic as a face can be, and it would take close inspection to notice its artificiality, she is much more than her seductive looks. Her creators have given her generous attributes that could turn most men on. She can carry on conversations and recall specifics about you, which is significant to many people. Harmony, like your actual girlfriend, can become irritable, jealous, or insecure. 
For the past 20 years, Harmony's manufacturer has produced some of the most realistic silicones on the market. Each doll that they make can be completely customized. A journalist for The Sun attests that Harmony's speech is oddly natural. Harmony will ask you questions about yourself, your interest, upbringing, age, and favorite things. Like the majority of us, she has an opinion about Donald Trump. Harmony can blink and move her mouth in addition to speaking. With Murata cheerleaders, you can summon a cheerleader to your living room at the touch of a button. Three gyro sensors for compensation allow them to balance on a detached ball, demonstrating their mastery of equilibrium. They also have an inverted pendulum control system, which is the envy of most other equilibrium systems, in addition to pom poms, so that's not all. Those have a specific purpose, just like any other robot. These adorable pom-poms are used as active balancing weights by these high-tech cheerleaders. Imagine having a team of cheerleaders at your disposal. Ten robots mounted on balls that can use any instrument, including ultrasonic and infrared waves, and a group that can sing and dance without missing a beat. You can pick from various dance routines that are perfectly timed, thanks to real-time position measurement of each step, with exceptional microphones and ultrasonic microphones. Each uses four different infrared sensors to track every square inch of the court and uses ultrasonic pulses to measure positions and distances. A wireless communication network with a central control system at your fingertips synchronizes these dance moves. By the way, the ability to blush is one of the cheerleaders' most advanced and recognizable characteristics, a female robot industry trademark from Japan. Arisa, an anime robot receptionist, stunning female robot designed to serve as the best GPS Japanese technology is her next stop, and she seems to come to life more and more frequently, a manga fan's dream girl. I mean, take a look at her. She blushes too like her favorite cheerleader, and any like-minded man will fall in love with that blue hair. Those extensive eyes can leave a mark on your human heart once it starts giving directions to an event or guiding you through the Tokyo subway. Since it was created for promotional purposes by THK and Azure Gaming, they were able to keep the manga's vibe. As soon as you enter the Uino Okachimachi station on the Uido line, you can see a recess because she stands at 6 feet tall. She helps locals, visitors, and those in desperate need of a bathroom break by giving directions to and directions to the location of the closest restrooms. I'll contribute to purchasing an interactive screen. Given that Arisa is fluent in more than 5 languages, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and English, she could quickly provide directions to a global audience. Even better if you ask her, she will smile for the camera. She works in casinos and is currently employed by the Tokyo Subway. One of the most desired robots on this list, Arisa can make people blush and have a wide range of experiences. There is a rumor that several Japanese salarymen purposefully get lost each day at the station. In Japan, robots are gradually becoming an integral part of daily life. Even the news channels feature them as Kadamaroid, the local media's go-to TV host who never forgets or fumbles a word. She has no trouble explaining difficult scientific concepts. Keep yourself informed about world events by reading the news. Kadamaroid can even put on a show because, in addition to speaking in various languages and voices, she can also speak in a male voice. Imagine watching a female robot TV presenter with a male voice without a cup of coffee in the morning. Of course, at that point, everyone would point the finger at a lack of coffee. When she speaks in television and works as a receptionist at Tokyo's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, her face moves like a real human being when she provides directions or updates you on the weather. She shows us that she will always have a good heart by keeping those TV memories alive. In addition, Kadamaroid has a Moroccan employee sister named Atonaroid, who works in the same museum. This is unusual. A knowledgeable journalist would have difficulty mistaking an android for a person. But that is exactly what happened to one when he met Asuna. At the Tokyo Genius Expo, an incredibly realistic android was on display. Although she resembles a 15-year-old girl, her appearance is not a coincidence. It was planned to start challenging expectations of how androids should behave and appear. This android resembles a human in every way. Her features, skin, eyes, and hair are replicas of what a human being should look like. Asuna was created by Labco Limited's robotics wizards, who also allowed her to communicate with humans. 
However, many people find her creepy, especially if she is in your room at 3 in the morning. Although Android will always be an Android. Others, however, think the female robot is adorable enough to be dubbed a future companion of humanity. Asuna was portrayed as the first android ever to cross the Uncanny Valley barrier. Other robots and androids could not do this because of how they look, which prevented them from resembling a real human. Nadine, the robot with the greatest potential, is now ranked first. Despite its Western features, it is one of the most sophisticated and socially intelligent human-like robots on the market. You can converse with a socially adept android in honest one-on-one -on -one conversations because she has her moods and feelings. Nadine has launched a new branch of socially intelligent robots to have a lifelong companions. Professor Nadia, the robot, is designed to assemble her human counterpart. Imagine a robotic clone or another half who assists you with your daily tasks. This opens up a whole new world for the future. Nadine is the first step in a seemingly endless series of possibilities. One of the most innovative features is facial recognition, which enables her to tailor her conversational responses to the person she speaks to and ensures that she always knows because she has a technology. Her emotion module helps her to control her emotions and manners have permeated every feature that gives her human appearance. Recall how we mentioned that other robots could speak more than four languages. Nadine supports over 120 languages because of the speech recognition technology used by Google Cloud Voice to text functions. She began her career as a receptionist at Nanyang Technological University, one of Singapore's most prestigious universities. Since then, she has traveled the globe, making headlines left and right. Nadine is anticipated to be a commercial success in every home in the upcoming years. Even so, if you have any lingering doubts, picture Nadine admiring the Japanese Stark, Shibasaki. There you have it, a rising success on a global scale. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. Which of these female robots would you choose? Are you fascinated by Nadine? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.